Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please pause for the 30 seconds of silence. Good morning, Grizzlies, and a poor reminder that we have a short week this week. I'm Kay. And I'm Damian with GNN, your Grizzly News Network. Today is Monday, November 4th. Tomorrow's a big day for our country, with an, another presidential election underway. While many of us can't vote just yet, we will be watching the results. And for students, we will all be home tomorrow. Many schools are voting sites, and so the school district is closed tomorrow for all students. Staff have a staff development day here on campus, so enjoy an extra day of sleep in tomorrow, Grizzlies. Make sure you mark your calendars for our theater department's next play. They're preparing for a creative new play, Harvey, which hits the stage next week. The play runs from November 7th to November 9th at 6 p.m. Tickets are $5 for students and can be purchased online or at the door with cash. Don't miss out. And if you are performing in that play or on the field in sports, let our video skills can make a highlight video of your talent. They're starting a new fundraiser to help raise money for state competition. Our photographers will come to your performance and focus solely on you. We will record video highlights and edit a video for you to use on social media or to submit potential recruiters or schools. We will work with you on how, to, how you want it filmed. The video ranges from $20 to $40 depending on what you would like to add. Click on the QR code and make your request. Then once you have been contacted by a skills member, you will pay the banker and the highlight reel will be confirmed. This school year we have an additional staff member, one that walks on four legs. Zero the dog is a therapy dog who is on campus to calm nerves and help in certain situations. Michael and Eli, introduce us to Zero and show us how to be safe around him. As negative feelings and emotions have increased in teens, many just need some stress relief. Our school has taken action and brought in a therapy dog, Zero. But what exactly does a therapy dog do? So a school-wide therapy dog, which is what Zero is, is um, a dog who is here to provide comfort, um, lower anxiety, just generally um, help students feel happier. So their, their job is just to basically be loved and petted. <laughs> what might Zero do to help students? So today he went into a classroom before they were about to take a big test and like, you know, try to lower that anxiety for them and before they tested. There are some rules for petting Zero. So here are some do's and here are some don'ts. Do let him smell him before you pet him. Do ask for permission before interacting with him. Can I pet him? Of course. Don't bring food or have food on you and don't use a high-pitched voice. I would say don't necessarily go with the high-pitched, oh my god, he's so stinking cute, like that, because it makes him very excited and he's gonna try to lick your face. And remember students, even though Zero is on the job, he is still just the pup, so be kind to him. Approach, it's okay to approach Zero once you have asked permission and then as long as you can do so calmly, you let him get used to you. So we've only had more than 50 clubs happening throughout the week. Today, Animation Club is meeting in room 918. If you are interested in health science education, join HOSA in room 904. And Enjoy OTC will, meet in, will be meeting in Portable 15. If you love to debate, go to room 316 for Speech and Debate Club. Scholarship Club will also meet today in room 821. Badminton is in the comments. Come out and enjoy being active. And Asian Student Union meets every week in room 813. Remember, all clubs are at 201 p.m. Need to fulfill your volunteer hours? Do you want to make our campus a cleaner place? Environmental Club is hosting our quarter two campus cleanup on Thursday, November 7th at 2 p.m. Come help beautify our campus. Anyone is welcome to join. It will be held in Miss Bonanno's room in, a, in room 923. The State Career and Development Conference is coming up. Make sure to attend the mandatory DECA meeting on Thursday, November 7th. It will be held in room 201 at 201 p.m. As stated, this meeting is mandatory since deadlines will be reviewed. For all our youth readers, a new club has arrived on campus. It's Literacy Youth Club. They will have meetings every Friday and they are kicking off the clubs with a book drive. Stop by room 218 and join the nonprofit organization and help with their goal of promoting literacy and improving comprehension across many schools. Our football team is getting ready for our first playoffs this week. Alyssa, what does the sports schedule look like for this week? Our varsity football team is heading to playoffs next week. The guys team will be here at home on Friday, November 8th at 6 p.m. to compete in playoffs. Playoff tickets for football can be purchased through hometown ticketing. Ticket prices are $5 for students and $12 for adults. 
All students, including fall athletes, will need to purchase a ticket to enter the event. Our own Spring Valley Grizzlies have made it top of the top seven of the 4A division. Spring Valley has been leading number one with five wins and one loss. We are top of the 4A mountain with Canyon Springs, Chaparral, El Dorado, and more behind us. Our league semifinal is Friday, November 8th. Let's see how far we can get. And if you can't make it to the games, our GNR reporters are keeping you informed with live updates throughout the games. Check out some of our most recent updates that are now for soccer, volleyball, and football. To get those updates, follow our Instagram at SVHS GNN Den and look for our highlight reels for each sport. Gear for the games. Don't forget to bring your student ID card. Is your ticket to action? In fact, you need your ID to get into any school events. If you buy your tickets on hometown ticketing and do not bring your ID, you will not be refunded. And lastly, if you leave in the middle of the game, you won't be allowed back in. Girls basketball intramurals are underway right now. Girls intramural basketball will go from October 15th to November 15th, with Josh being on November 16th. Download the Remind app and join with the code GRIZZLYIM to receive the schedule for each week. Girls that are finishing fall sports like volleyball, soccer, cross country, tennis, or golf are welcome to join intramurals as soon as their season is over. While some coaches are preparing for winter sports, our spring coaches are also preparing for next year. If you're interested in joining the softball team in the spring, Mr. Johnson invites you to an interest meeting Wednesday, November 13th at 1.30 in room 200. In local sports news, are you interested in seeing WrestleMania 41 here live here in Vegas? Las Vegas is hosting Wrestle in Vegas at the Allegiant Stadium on Saturday, April 19th and on Sunday, April 20th. There will be legendary rich wrestlers. Make sure to go get your tickets and not to miss out on this big opportunity. Now back to you at the desk. We're getting close to first lunch. What options are our store for today? Today the cafeteria is serving up pepperoni vegetarian pizza, cheeseburgers and hamburgers, and grab-and-go turkey wraps. If you're confused about the lunches, the breakdown's on the screen. Or you can try out one of our food trucks. Santiago's food truck will be coming every Tuesday and Thursday. You can get tacos for $3 and plates for 11 Food therapy will also be coming every Friday with $10 plate options. Or you can get your hands on a grilled burger, which is being served by Good Hood Burgers Food Truck. They will be on campus every Monday. They have sliders, tenders, or hot dogs, and all meals will be are $12 and with a side of fries, $15 with a drink. And a brand new food truck has appeared on campus. These subs Mangia will be mobile. Excuse me. It will start serving Italian foods such as mozzarella sticks, cannolis, chicken fettuccine alfredo, and spaghetti and meatballs. Make sure to come out and grab a bite. Are you getting tired of school lunch or school lunch vendors? They get some delicious crumble cookies. Stuco is selling crumble cookies again for $6. The options are cherry cheesecake, pink donut, snickerdoodle, pumpkin roll, chocolate cupcake, and semi-sweet chocolate chunk. Pre-sale starts this Monday, November 4th until November 8th, and cookies will be delivered following Friday, November 15th, to your, fifth, to your sixth period class. So struggling families getting enough food is a challenge. Spring Valley's NJRTC program and the Just One Project are having their monthly food distribution to help those that need it. The next distribution will be on Saturday, November 16th, starting at 8 a.m. You can arrive in a vehicle in the school's front parking lot to receive free groceries. Just in time for our election, our libra librarian, Mrs. Betchel, is introducing us to some government books in the library. Here's this week's installment with Books with Mrs. B. Hey, Grizzlies. Welcome to Books with Ms. B. I'm going to focus on a slightly sticky, tricky topic. If you haven't noticed, we do have an election coming up. And that brings out a lot of really important things about where you get your information. Please do not get your info from social media. That is not news. Get your information from reputable sources, and it is your responsibility to seek out good, verified, factual information. I also want you to know that this library provides you perspectives on all sides. So my personal opinions do not matter. And I want you to know that on some very polarizing topics, I do have perspectives from across the spectrum. As you can see from these titles, some of these are very pro-Trump, some of them are very anti-Trump, and then I have stuff in the middle, like Democracy Awakening, which discusses how democracy actually works. So, Grizzlies, get your info from reputable sources, like this library, not from social media, and always keep reading. And as we count down to Thanksgiving, don't miss the books with Mrs. B discussing Native and Americans and historical fiction coming up this month. It's time to start dressing warm on the daily. Nick is here with the weather. All right, so the weather is looking crazy because this morning it was like really windy and it messed up my hair too. So that's like so. On Monday, it's 
uh, going to be a high of 69, low 47. Tomorrow, however, it's um, looking like it's going to go back up in the 70s just for that day with a partly cloudy high of 71, low 48. Then Wednesday and Thursday are going to be 63 and 66 with a low of 46 and a low 42. <coughs> a wintertime activity has, has started early at Lee Canyon. The mountains improved snow making system and nature's cooler temperatures have made, its, made, excuse me, made it the perfect time of year for skiing and snowboarding. At the earliest time in 13 years, the mountain is open for winter Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Winter lift tickets are available at LeeCanyonLV.com for as low as $14. Now back to you at the desk. If you missed anything important, or if a QR code went by too quickly, you can find these daily announcements on YouTube. You can search at Spring Valley High School and look for our GNN and Grizzly logo for the correct school. This was Kay, Damien, Alyssa, and Nick of the, of the Grizzly, Grizzly News Network. Network. Have, Have a marvelous, marvelous Monday, Monday Grizzlies. Grizzlies.